Martin has 400 feet of fencing. What length and width will maximize the area that he can enclose? So we've been told two things here. The first thing we've been told is that the perimeter, the perimeter of our fence is 400 feet. Okay? And we were told that because he has 400 feet of fencing. And we know there's a formula for perimeter. It's 2L plus 2W. And we know that's equal to 400. So 2L plus 2W equals 400. So that's the first piece of information we've been given. The second thing they told us is they want the area to be maximized. Area equals length times width. And they want area to be maximized. And when we look at things like this, we want to graph them. We want a picture. And to graph something on a two-dimensional plane or Cartesian coordinate system, we have to have two variables, x and y, typically, or what we use in mathematics. In this case, I have area equals length times width. I have three variables. I have to whittle this down to two variables to graph it. So I take my perimeter equation and I solve this for w. Okay, so solve for, excuse me, solve for l. I want to solve for length. Um, so if I do that, I move this guy over, get negative 2w, and then divide by 2, and I get l equals 200 minus w. Okay, so solve this for l. Get l by itself. And now we're going to substitute this, L equals 200W, into this equation. So everywhere I have L, I'm going to put 200 minus W times W. Now what this allows me to do is this allows me to have an equation that now has two variables, X and Y. Okay? And very much like a normal math equation with X and Y, right, we think of um, mo most people have graphed a straight line and they use slope-intercept form, right? y equals mx plus b, which would be something like y equals 3x plus 5, right? We have this is our vertical axis and this is our horizontal axis. Very similar to that, we have our problem here. So um, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and distribute this w. So I get a equals 200w minus w squared. Now what is this? What does this graph look like? Well, if we treat this like it's x's and y's, then the x-axis would be w and the y-axis would be a. Okay, And this is a parabola. It's an x-squared type equation and that's going to give us a shape that's either this or this. And the sign of the x squared component determines that it is, in fact, a downward facing parabola. So if we graph this, it's going to look something like this. Okay, as the width increases, the area also increases up to a maximum. And then as the width continues to increase, the area will now decrease. So we're looking for the width that maximizes area. Okay, so we're looking at the width that gives the maximum area. We're looking for this point. Well, this point is the vertex of this equation. And the vertex of any parabola is going to be an xy coordinate where x is negative b over 2a and y is obtained by plugging negative b over 2a into the original equation. Now they didn't ask me for the area. They ask me for the length and the width that would maximize the area. So in our case, our x value, let me change colors here, our x value was w and our y value was a. So if I can find this x value, w, that'll tell me the width that maximizes the area. If I plug that in, that'll tell me the maximum area. 
So let's do this. I have A equals 200W minus W squared. And this is B. And this is A. And so I need negative B over 2A, which will be negative 200 over 2 times negative 1. And basically what this boils down to is I have negative 200 divided by negative 2. Well, negative 200 divided by negative 2 is 100. And in our case, it's feet. W equals 100 feet. 100 foot width will maximize the area. Now, in the original problem, they asked me for width and length. So what do we do? Well, we go back up to our original equations, which were perimeter and area, and pick one. I'm going to use perimeter. I'm going to use this equation right here. And I say, okay, 400 equals 2L plus 2W. Well, 400 equals 2L plus 2 times 100, right? We found W was 100 feet. Solve for L and guess what we get? L equals 100 feet. So a fence of 100 feet by 100 feet will give me the maximum area. Okay? That's how you solve a problem like this. This is called maximizing or minimizing a quadratic. And if you have any questions, please let me know.